Hey guys, Deborah here back with another video. Super excited to be sharing with you guys today. It has been a crazy year for me. I've been in transition from one job to another. And in my old job, I was primarily working from home. But for my new job, I will have to go into the office occasionally. And I had to go in the office this week. And as I was getting ready, I realized that I did not have a really good work bag. So I picked up this bag from Nordstrom. I am in love with it. I got a chance to use it yesterday going into the office. And I want to share it with you guys in case you're looking for your work bag for 2021. So this bag is the Orion Tote by Herschel Supply Company. I picked it up from Nordstrom and I paid $170. I did check out the Herschel Supply Company website and they have the Orion collection, but I didn't see this bag. So you might have to get it from Nordstrom. They also had it in black. Now, the very first thing that caught my eye about this bag was the color. I love pink and it has like this dusty rose pinkish color. And it also has really great structure to the bag. Now, I had a similar bag by Kate Spade that was also like a dusty rose kind of color. Also has really great stru structure and can hold a lot. But the reason why I didn't want to use this bag for work is because of the material. Um, this bag is made of leather and it was an investment piece and I don't really want to mess the bag up. So this bag actually is made mostly of polyester. So it's water resistant and I don't have to worry about if it gets dirty. I can easily wipe it off if I get caught in the rain on the way to work. I don't have to worry about any of that. And this one also has a lot more storage. So the way that it's made, it's very easy to put a laptop, an iPad, and other items in it. So in the very front of the bag, there is this more secure pocket because it has a clasp. So in that pocket, um, you could put, you know, items that you want to keep a little bit more secure. So I carry my cell phone in there and also my keys. So in that front pocket, you can put things that you want to keep really secure. Now, just as a quick tip, you might want to get a case like this for work because this case um, is by Kate Spade and you also have room to put your credit cards. So if you're at work and sometimes you just grab your phone, you'll also have your debit cards in case you go to lunch or anything like that. So that's just a quick tip. But in the front, I put my cell phone and my keys. So on the back of the bag, there is another storage pocket. And this is for things that you can access quickly and you don't necessarily need to keep as secure. So like this is where I keep my work badge. Uh, my actual badge is actually in the car. But this is another little Kate Spade lanyard that I like to wear at work. Again, you can just put what you need. So you can put your ID badge. You can put a couple of cards if you have other access cards for work. And you can put a little bit of cash as well. So that is even easier for you to carry around. And I just keep that where I have quick access to it when I'm in the office. So inside it does have a zip top closure. So everything will be kept really secure. And one of the bonuses about this bag that I just fell in love with is that not only does it have a ton of pockets, but it also comes with this little purse inside that you can detach. And so first I'll go ahead and show you how you detach it. It just has a little clasp here. So you just unclasp it and now you have an entirely separate purse that you can carry to lunch. You can carry it if, if you're going to a meeting, you don't want to take your whole bag. And as an, another bonus, once you open up this little purse, there's actually a longer strap inside. So I'm going to take out my wallet so you can see. There's actually a longer strap inside of this. Isn't that awesome? So you can just turn this into a bag that you actually put on. So you actually get two purses in one for a bargain price. So inside of this bag, I keep the items that I would normally keep in a small purse. So I have my Kate Spade wallet that actually matches my other purse. Then I have some Altoids. Um, very good for talking to people in person. Then I have my lip gloss, uh, my little Fenty gloss. I like to keep a little small hand lotion. I, of course, have to have hand sanitizer, Bath and Body Works. Next, I have my little You Look Lovely mirror by Kate Spade. 
so you can just check yourself it was so different being around people in person i had to like remember how to even behave around people in person and my aqua four always keep this everywhere i go a hair tie for those humid days when you need it uh, a couple of pins and a highlighter and i also carry this a uh, little spray for the when you go to the restroom in case you end up in that situation always good to be prepared and so that's what i keep inside of this tote and i actually like to just use this anyway just to keep keep things fresh so that's just a quick tip to pick up one of these travel size ones they carry these at ulta so that's a little detachable purse that comes inside so that's a reason enough to buy this if you ask me because you can use this totally separate from this purse. Now, it, once you actually look on the inside of the purse, it has a lot of pockets and a lot of room. So it comes with a little pouch on the side that you can actually put an iPad in, or in my case, I put my slim laptop. Now yesterday for work, I was actually carrying my work laptop. So this bag can actually fit like a standard 13 inch laptop um it just doesn't fit as well in the side pocket but it does actually still fit in the side pocket if you need to you just kind of tuck it down in there and a standard size laptop does actually fit in that side pocket just fyi so yesterday i had my full size laptop my mouse pad my mouse and this little headset that I use for work and all that fit inside. So today though, I'm just carrying my personal laptop. Okay, so then there's another media pouch that has room to hold your chargers. So this is the pouch where you have your laptop. And then here's another pouch where you can put your chargers or any other like media items that you need. So I have my laptop charger right there and then my cell phone charger. Okay, so on the side, believe it or not, you have more pockets. So on the side here, there's a little pocket on the side, kind of hard to show you guys, um, but there's a little pocket here on the side. And on that one, I put my extra charger. I actually don't go anywhere without this. If I don't want to carry it around, I'll leave it in the car. Um, but this is my anchor charger. So I just use this to always be able to charge my cell phone because you never know when you end up somewhere where you don't have an outlet and I need my cell phone. And on that side, you could, there's lots of room, like you could put a water bottle right there instead, as you can see how big that is, or whatever you wanna put um, on the side there. And I'll probably put a water bottle in the future because there's other room for this anchor um, charger. So on the side, you have also like your standard spaces where you could put a cell phone. Like I said, I could put the charger there or whatever other media items. And there's also a headphone jack in one of these pockets but i didn't need to use that because i use wireless headphones okay so i also have my glasses um, i like to carry those at work just in case i have an issue with my contacts and i also carry this little like all-in-one everything you might need during the day pouch so in this pouch i keep hand sanitizer um mouthwash toothpaste and a, a travel size toothbrush, contact case, contact liquid, and feminine products. So you just never wanna be caught off guard at work. That's my little all-in-one bag. And if you guys want more tips on like going back to work, definitely let me know because I have spent a lot of time over the last week like getting mentally prepared and thinking about what I needed. So as you can see, I had quite a bit in this purse and there was still room for more. So this is really an awesome work bag if you're looking for something that's not quite as fancy as you know like a Kate Spade or Coach or fully leather bag. If you want something a little bit more durable, a little bit more affordable. I would say this is literally the perfect work tote for the new world that we live in, going back and forth between work and home. I also carried it last night, um, took it with me to dinner as well, and it was just a really durable bag. Um, I didn't have to worry about it when I set it down on the seat in a public place. I can just come home and sanitize and wipe it off. And I'll definitely be using this bag for a very long time. It was a great buy. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Hopefully this was helpful for tips on picking a work bag, just what features to look for. 
And if you're considering this bag, I would definitely say go for it and enjoy getting back to work. I'll be sharing more tips on work, working from home, a hybrid schedule going back and forth between working and working from home, and just general tips on productivity, life, and style. So if you're interested, definitely subscribe. I'm getting very close to a thousand subscribers, so it would be awesome if you could help me reach that goal. Until next time, guys. Bye.